Did you know that the oldest tattooed human in history is a Bronze Age man who was born 5,000 years ago? Scientists nicknamed him Otzi the Iceman because he was found frozen in a glacier in the Otztal Alps. Otzi's skin was covered in 57 tattoos, many of which were located near areas of wear and tear on his body. But what were they for? Researchers believe that Otzi's tattoos served a therapeutic purpose, such as relieving joint pain and other symptoms of disease. But Otzi is not the only one to have ink on his skin. In Egypt, mummies that are thousands of years old were discovered to have tattoos. And interesting Interestingly, back then, tattooing was mostly a female practice. Many women were adorned with tattoos that symbolized fertility, protection, and sensuality. These tattoos were usually simple dots and lines, but there were also more complicated designs such as flowers and animals. A fascinating discovery was made in the village of Deir el Medina, when a mummy was found adorned with more than 30 tattoos, each with a sacred eye symbol. This woman's tattoos were strategically placed so that from any angle you looked at her, a pair of divine eyes would be staring right back at you. It's speculated that she served an important religious role and may have embodied the Egyptian goddess Hathor herself. Moving on to the Haida people of the Pacific Northwest, who have a rich tradition of tattooing. Their tattoos were often used to tell a story and featured intricate designs and patterns that reflected the natural world. The Raven, also known as the Great Spirit, is the most popular figure in Haida tattoos, as it is believed to be the creator of the world. Another popular design is the Salmon, which represents abundance and fertility. Tribal tattoos have been a prominent part of Polynesian culture for centuries, often serving as a symbol of status or heritage. Each tribe had its own unique patterns and designs which were passed down from generation to generation. Tongan warriors were tattooed from the waist down in geometric patterns of solid black. Their women had similar designs but with more delicate floral patterns on their hands and lower parts. The honor of designing tattoos was reserved for the highest ranking members of the Tongan society and they were administered by priests. In New Zealand, the indigenous Maori people developed their own tattooing traditions. These tattoos were usually carved into the skin using a chisel and were often used to represent a person's ancestry and social standing. Maori men often covered their whole bodies in ink, but the most significant was the facial tattoo, which was reserved only for those of high social status. Apart from signaling their rank in society, another reason for tattooing was to make a person more attractive to the opposite sex. Women's tattoos were limited to certain parts of their bodies. They also wore facial tattoos, but they were restricted to their chin, lips, and nostrils. In the 18th and 19th centuries, sailors often got tattoos as a way to show their travels at sea. These tattoos represented the sailors' experiences, skills, and superstitions. For example, an anchor tattoo signified a sailor who had crossed the Atlantic and a fully rigged ship indicated a journey around the treacherous Cape Horn. Some sailors even inked images of their lovers to keep them close during their long voyages. But not every culture had an appreciation for tattoos. In some places, tattoos were frowned upon and associated with criminal activity. Ancient Greeks and Romans tattooed their slaves so they could be identified if they tried to escape. In ancient Japan, tattoos were banned during the Edo period and used as a punishment for criminals and outcasts. But the lower castes of society embraced these criminal tattoos as a way to rebel against the status quo, leading to the development of the Yakuza's iconic full-body tattoo suits, known as Irizumi. It wasn't until Japan opened its doors to the Western world in the late 19th century that tattoos began to gain more acceptance. The tattoo industry has come a long way since its inception. Whether it's a tiny symbol or a full-body masterpiece, every tattoo tells a story, and our ancestors understood this well.